Mike Tyson. Oh, the right hand. I doubt if he'll be able to get up from this. And Vargas goes down face first. Oh, my. We've had it all here in round one. Michael Nunn has shocked the world. A first round knockout. He gets rid of him like that. He makes every punch count. Good left took by Charles Hawkins. He came here to try to win this bout. He is throwing leather against McKinney. But to no avail, a right hand sends him down. Over a half minute left to go for Charles Hawkins to survive here in round one. He's getting nailed with big shots. The right hand sends him down again. It is over. Carlos Padilla has seen enough. And Charles Hawkins goes back to Phoenix with his first pro loss, and that young man Shows why many believe he could be a Bantamweight champion, perhaps within 18 months. Norteamericano de boxeo. Me refiero nada más ni nada menos a lo que significa el primer título, señores, señores, de este que es el orgullo de Avenal, California. Título Welter. Los dos en guardia diestra. Short rojo. Vivos en gris para este que es el orgullo de Avenal. Del otro lado. Short, por supuesto, estilo militar, camuflajeado para David Rodela. La pasa mal desde el principio. Le voy a suplicar, no pierda de vista, por favor, la mano izquierda en forma de gancho. En repetidas ocasiones, y la estábamos mencionando, campeón. Ahí aparece, a la altura del oído derecho, donde está el equilibrio. Al parecer es todo para David Rodela. No habíamos calentado ni motores. Y sabe que terminó el combate. Nocaut efectivo. Esto es una locura. La gente se pone de pie. Impresionante el nocao de estimado campeón. Y así, 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 conquista su primer título en solo boxeo Tecate, José Carlos Ramírez. He said otherwise, Floyd's a bit of everybody. Got the elusiveness from Jeff, the jab from Roger. And he is a tremendous fighter if you let him oh, that hook to the body, put Rodriguez down. Hook to the body, and Rodriguez is hurt, gasping for air. Oh, well, I think He's, that's it. Is he going to make it up? Oh, man. Jumps to his feet. A pair of terrific And shots. that is it. And Floyd Mayweather let Pino Rodriguez know who the winner was. Got right in his face. Here we go. He comes and tries to set that left hook. He saw the opening, took the left hook, and went for it. That's that's well schooled, Rich. You know what to do. You take what your opponent gives you. It was the left hook to the body, I think, that did him in. Yeah. He set him up pretty nicely because sets him up, works that body. See, Rodriguez felt that earlier left hook right on the ribs. You know, a lot of kids this young do not punch much to the body, Tony. And it's a loss. Has no problem doing it. I'm not saying this is within Monty Barrett's capabilities, but you got to fight like Joe Frazier to fight this guy. You can't stand up with him. Uh, to me, that's always been Monty Barrett's problem. He's a guy who... Good right hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was Ty right Fields' hand. problem. Look at Joe Frazier. Down goes Ty wow. Fields. Down goes Ty Fields. Hammered to the deck. He's wobbly. He may not style. get up. I think the fight is over. over. I think it's over. He ain't getting up. Oh, my God. How about <laughs> that, that gentlemen? gentlemen? Monty Barrett. Wow. I was about to say that was his problem. He doesn't have the power of a Mike Tyson or a Joe Frazier. Small guys who are effective <laughs> against bigger guys. But you know what? Against Ty Fields, he did. He had enough. He's, wow. the most, he's the most shocked guy in the building. Just wow. the back flip. Well, I don't know if he's uh, more shocked than Ty. Right, let's take a look at what happened here. Monty That's Barrett cool. off the ropes with a right hand over the left. And Ty Fields really has no answer once he gets hurt because quite frankly as you pointed out Doug, he's been matched easily has never had to come back boom he's hurt and he doesn't know what to do except go down yeah once he's hurt he can't recover and doesn't know what to do he doesn't know how to hold and you know one thing that's been kind of purged from his record and obviously it's there if you look for it but seven years ago he was knocked out in one round it's by just, a guy it's a named series of right overhand right crosses we just saw a left hook but it's it's yeah. mainly the right. strength of overhand rights for monty barrett 
Look at this. Look wow, it. not bad for an old man. 37. He don't he <laughs> wake up saying that. 37. Don't blink when Edgar Berlanga is in the ring. He's in against Linnell Bellows here. 14 straight first round knockouts. One minute into round one. Two minutes to keep the streak alive for Berlanga. Another left hook. He did damage right there. Get off him. Get off him. He done. He did damage right there. A right hand comes in. A left hook comes in. He's got him against the ropes. Can he keep the streak alive? Swings out and that's it. TKO victory. He did it again. Look at the face of Bellows in just over a minute against the heavy hands of the knockout artist Edgar Berlanga. 15 straight knockouts to start his career. Bellows had never been taken out. He gets rid of him like that. He's so powerful that look at the cut he opened My up goodness. on that left eye. We see the first round, he's not throwing hard. He's just letting his shots go. He saw an opening and he, he threw the shot. And it just lands heavy because the power is natural. It's, now he's loading up a little bit because he knows he has Bellows hurt. And I got a little nervous and I'm looking at the ref like, ref, you may want to get in there because Berlanga has got bad intentions like we've been saying on every punch that he's throwing. And he's got the kind of power that can really, really hurt an opponent, especially an overmatched opponent like Bello. Tim, here's the thing when we talk about heavy hands. Even the glancing blows, yes. even the blows that aren't flush are doing damage. Did you see the blood on impact from the right hand? Did you see the look in the eyes of Bellows on the left hook? I Anything that touches from the heavy hands of Berlanga is like a wrecking ball of damage. Touch gloves now. Come on, fighting at the bell. One of the most exciting and promising prospects in all of boxing who's trying to become a contender. If this fight goes as planned for Teofimo Lopez, he will enter, enter as he is now, a prospect, and leave a contender. No doubt about it. That is <laughs> yes, the graduation ceremony for Lopez. Well, he has a ton of experience. But right now, he just caught, got caught with the overhand right from Lopez. Lopez getting right to it. Wow! What a knockdown by Lopez! Spectacular! Contender or beyond! Fortnite celebration again! Teofimo wanted to put on a show. He did it. Spectacular, albeit a brief one. Listen, it took Devin Haney nine rounds to get rid of Menard. Menard's got 34 wins. He's a veteran. He was with Bobby Benton, a new trainer who's, you know, a really a monster, good team and a full baby. camp. But this, but this is the guy that everybody is buzzing about in the lightweight division. Here's Lopez. He's going to move in. He's going to throw a looping overhand right, right over. It looked like a hook, a partial hook of Menard. Perfectly timed. That's what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. It's about timing. And you see Lopez right here, timing right over the top, right as Menard was trying to throw his left hook. And down he goes. And watch how Menard is out before he hits the canvas. You need to understand that when you fall directly on your face, that's power. Oh, big left hand, and Vargas goes down Man. face first. He gets up, and let's see what happens in this next minute and a half. Who's got heart? Who's got courage? The legs are gone on Jose Vargas, and this fight's over. This fight is done. And says there's levels to this game kid at 23 year old, years old you got to be careful what you ask for they want McNeely to get off first here a couple of left hooks sends McNeely back gets hit with another left hook by Butterbean Peter McNeely has not looked very solid here in round one. And he looks like he's in trouble already. And Butterbean brings it on.
McNeely just standing there taking a pounding from Butterbean. This one might not go too much longer. And they stop it. With only moments left to go in the first round, Butterbean is the winner. Peter McNeely just didn't do too much toward the end of that first round. Butterbean continues to throw those roundhouse punches. Just about everything landing. And Valenzuela steps inside a foam move. He drops a left to the chin of De La Hoya. And De La Hoya wasn't quite sure where he was. This is the first time he has felt the canvas as a professional. Oscar De La Hoya stunned here by Valenzuela. Some said that he might be on his way down, that he had that he had used it already. And De La Hoya comes back and he rocks him with the right. De La Hoya comes all the way back here in round one. And it is Narciso Valenzuela going down as he sent to the corner for the standing eight count. Oh my, we've had it all here in round one. And De La Hoya is like a shark creeping in here. He's got to go all the way back and here we go again. Oh my, both have touched the canvas and a nice right by Valenzuela. A left by Valenzuela, but it's De La Hoya scoring as he comes right back. De La Hoya landing a right and another right to the head. And he sends him to canvas for the second time here in round one. De La Hoya gets the wake up call early in round one and he's ready to go. He smiles. Again, there is no three knockdown rule in effect. He's got to wait and that'll do it. Bobby Ferrara says that's enough. Valenzuela is through. Oh my, De La Hoya, unbelievable fight. If you would have sent this script to Los Angeles, they would have rejected it. They would have said it was too unbelievable. But De La Hoya comes out, he gets a wake up call, and then comes back to knock Valenzuela out in the first round. So just when it, it appeared that De La Hoya may be in trouble, he comes all the way back. Stiff right hand by Hagler. Hard left hand. Lee goes down. Face down on the canvas. It was a left and a right and a left. And Lee's in trouble. Hazard takes a look at him. Lee says he's all right. He a left hook to the jaw. Lee can barely stand. Another right hand by Hagler. Back into the ropes he goes. Hagler pounding caveman Lee here in the opening round. He had, Hagler said he didn't want it to go very long, and it's not going to go very long. It is over. Lee sags against the ropes. He's out of it. Marvin Hagler has knocked him out with 1.53 to go in the first round. And a crowd of people come storm into the ring. And he has lifted on to the shoulders of the Petronelli brothers, Goody and Pat. A devastating performance by a man who has been particularly effective since he got his first title opportunity. The nun jab continues to flick out against Colin Bay. Colin Bay is by nature, oh my, a left hand sends Colin Bay down. A shocking turn of events in the first round. Sambu Colin Bay is out on the mat. I doubt if this one will continue. It's over. Michael Nunn has shocked the world. A left hand sent Sambu Colin Bay down and he was out. Forget the labels of this man as a boxer and a fancy Dan. He nailed Colin Bay. Michael Nunn has his 23rd knockout as a professional, his 33rd win, and let there be no mistake, this guy is the boss in the middleweight division. Certainly no one expected this easy a win for Michael Nunn. A straight left hand, and Sambu Kalambe is history. How's he gonna do that? With his legs, come in with the left hook, go to the body, take those legs away. Clearly the away with the body punch that sends McDonald to the canvas here in this opening round. McDonald, 32 years old, seven years older than Inoue. He feels like he's about 87 years older right now. And the power punches and the combination has McDonald to the rope, right and left, and that is it. History is made in Tokyo, Japan. The man knows what he is. 
He's a champion again. Bantamweight now. And like I said, he was born to be a puncher. You get close, and you use that power. That's exactly what he did. Tillman has a look of fear in his eyes as Mike Tyson just goes headhunting. Richard Steele, the third man in the ring, has got his work cut out with Mike Tyson. Oh, the right hand! I doubt if he'll be able to get up from this. He hit a flush on the jaw with the right hand. It's up to six and seven and eight and nine and ten. It's all over. Tyson, a first round knockout. He caught him flush with the right hand that knocked him out cold. It came at 247 of the first round. It was a big right hand, a very, very aggressive. Mike Tyson. Wow, what a right hand. Tyson moves in for the kill. Here it is, he's got everything, everything going, and he catches him right at the height of his punch on the top of the temporal, left temporal bone, which rattled the brain around inside that skull, and down he went. There was no getting up from there. Watch it from a different angle. The right hand, watch Tyson's right hand. He winds up, bang, he nails him, it's all over. Bicycle now. He better get on his bicycle. Mancini jumps all over him and he is in trouble on the ropes. Ray Mancini has the champion Prius in more trouble. It's target practice for Mancini. Throwing those non stop punches he's famous for. Prius, it is all over as referee Richard Green has stopped the bout. A first round knockout for Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Tim, that was about as sensational a round as you'll ever see in a world championship fight for a first round. They're usually a feel-out round, not today. Looking into the eyes of the champion, Frias. Mancini continues to wail away. Tim, Solid he, he left must have, there. He must have thrown 50 punches, Tim. Tommy Morrison, if he wins this fight, will go on to a big payday with Lennox Lewis, and that one hurt. Michael Bent in trouble already, but trying to fight out of there. And a left connected, and Ben in trouble again. And Tommy Morrison trying to end it early. And a good right by Ben, and Tommy Morrison is down at 2.05 of the first round. So Morrison connected and hurt Ben. Ben came back with a right hand and floors Morrison. Now Morrison has been down before in fights that he has won. And now Tommy Morrison gets hit with a left and he knocks Morrison down again. Tommy Morrison in deep trouble here in the first round. And a lot of time remaining in round number one. You can see the bewilderment in the eyes of Tommy Morrison as Michael Bent from New York City looking to finish him off. And Bent just throwing nothing but haymakers right now. And Morrison in deep trouble. And Morrison is down, and the fight is over. Michael Bent has upset Tommy Morrison and has won the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. A huge upset in the first round as Tommy Morrison is knocked out by Michael Bent. The young man, 28 years old, 